What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to do an update of my Dragon Ball Z collection, mostly SH Figuarts. A few stuff here and there, but I finally finished setting it up right now, so I want to just film this and get it up on YouTube. I know a lot of you guys like Dragon Ball Z, so I want to make this video for you guys. If you enjoy collection videos or displays, stuff like that, hunting, toy hunting, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, so basically I got like, um, so basically guys, I have my Dragon Ball Super stuff on this side. On the other Detolf, which is um, black, I got black and white, it's mostly Dragon Ball Z. Here is the uh, first cube on the left side. Uh, some Dragon Ball Super figures I threw in the Broly movie figures as well. And, and then I have the training with Whis outfits with Goku and Vegeta. So on this side I have Whis of course. And I have Beerus and he's actually eating a slice of pizza. Yeah, he's eating a slice of pizza and that pizza actually came from an SH Figure Arts Ninja Turtle. Back there one of my favorite figures, the SH Figure Arts uh, God Goku. And then that effect came with the aerial Vegeta. I'm kind of faking it for a Kamehameha wave type effect, but because I don't have one. But I think it looks all right. And then back there, of course, is Broly. I have him on a little cube there. And you can find those on Amazon. I'll just search up acrylic risers. And then over here, I have Gogeta Blue. I think it looks pretty cool, kind of like in a running pose. And that aura effect I did buy off Pawn Cheesy, but I'm not sure if he's still making those. And then right in the front here, I have Goku and Vegeta. Some awesome figures here, base form. So that's basically the first cube. And then these rocks came with the SH Figure Arts Black Panther. I just threw them in there. Then down here, I have my Tournament of Power display. So we have the Dragon Stars Jiren. The model kit Krillin on this side. I don't have the SH Figure Arts one, but in the future, hopefully I'll, I'll pick them up sometime. And back there, Adult Gohan, the leader of the team. Then this is the Awakening Warrior Goku with the Dragon Stars Ultra Instinct head on it. I don't have the, the Demonical Fit head, but uh, I did throw on that one and it looked alright. The Dragon Stars Kaba, which is oversized, but I just throw them in there. Golden Frieza and Dragon Stars hit back there doing his thing. Yeah, man, I can't wait to light these Detolfs up to give it uh, that, that look that I want, but it's gonna do for now, and it's one of my favorite displays. And then coming down to the third cube, we have Goku Black front and center, and that, and this aura effect I did buy off Panchisi as well. And then one of my other favorite figures is this Dragon Ball Super Trunks. And then back there is the event exclusive or comic-con exclusive uh, blue vegeto and then back there i have the dragon star zamos or however you want to pronounce it because i always get corrected on it and then another goku black doing the uh kamehameha effect this is a pretty dope shelf as well in my opinion and then down here i don't have any figures but i do have the first release broly and then of course the dragon balls so that's it for this um first detail so here's my other shelf. Starting up top, I have um, my favorite character from Dragon Ball. When I first watched Dragon Ball Z in high school, I fell in love with Trunks. He was just such a badass character. Up here, I have my model kit time machine, and then I have the premium color Trunks. And then on the other side, I don't know what brand does those. I think this one's actually a knockoff. I'm not sure, but I have I bought that one. In, I think it was like 2014 or 2015. But uh, I've always had it and it looks awesome. But that's what I have up top. And then uh, on the second shelf, I have like my Saiyan Saga shelf. And this diorama, you guys saw me actually kind of make it on a video. I'll leave a link below if you guys want to check that out. I have my Saberman paired along with Nappa. Back there I have Tien doing the Tri-Beam. And I have the, uh, demon not Demonical Fit, uh, Model Kit Space Pod. And uh, all these piled on rocks, I have the Prince of All Saints, Vegeta. I remember when this figure wasn't out yet and the only option we had was that really expensive one and this one turned out to be so good. One of the newer figures is this base form Goku. I had two but I gave one away so I kind of miss him. And I paired him up with Piccolo and then I have the, uh, the MVP back there, Yamcha. So yeah, that's... Um, the shelf's pretty nice, I like it. Moving along, down here is more of my Dragon Ball stuff. These are all the Dragon Ball figures I have so far. I did not pick up any San Diego Comic Con exclusives or event exclusive. The only one I would want is um, probably that Kid Goku. Uh, I do have Master Roshi, Kid Krillin. He's cool, I did a picture with him. Shout out to ACBA, they actually posted my pic on their Instagram. 
If you guys want to follow them, if you guys like figure photography, make sure to check ACBA out. Uh, Bulma. And then I do have a Dragon Ball back there. I forgot where I got it. I think it was from a candy or a keychain. They sold at GameStop and they, and they came packaged in uh, Dragon Ball. So I just threw it back there. Shenron. Have him right there. I had him on a cube to make him higher, but I wanted the cube. I wanted to use the cube somewhere else. So I took him off. And then over here I have my Final Form Frieza and I have Captain Ginyu. I haven't picked up any of the other DF figures. So this was my Dragon Ball shelf. And then down here is like my Majin Buu Saga shelf. But I'm starting it off on the side here. Uh, Vegito. Got this little effect. I forgot where. And then the stand's not even on anything. I just have it like kind of against the glass there. I have my uh, Go Tanks with this little ghost. Back there I have... Uh, the Super Saiyan 3, that was one of my favorite figures for a while, but the head the headpiece is too heavy now, so kind of sucks. And then back here I have Piccolo doing his thing. I did want him to get him with the cape, but it complicates things with the stand, but maybe in the future I'll try to do it. And then Fat Boo, here he is. I think I got this from Japan. I ordered it a very long time ago. Majin Vegeta. This is a shelf where I feel like this, this for real needs a dio in there to really elevate the figures, but... For now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I like it. And last but not least is my Cell Saga stuff. And I really took a while setting this shelf up because I hate how these shelves have like a last shelf. Like you can't even see them when you're standing up. You have to like bend down. Right here is Goku and Vegeta. And then back there I have Trunks and on a stand there. Back there are my androids. That's 16, man. He still holds up. He's such a great figure. Um, and then I have him paired up with Android 17. I still need 18. She's very expensive, so. I'll be impatient with that one. Then I have Cell, one of my favorite villains. And then I have my team Gohan going crazy right here. I did throw in this. Um, just, uh, just a little something. I didn't try to depict the scene or anything. I just kind of threw it right there. So, yeah, that's my bottom shelf. These are my two bottom shelves. Don't really get a lot of love, but this is an angle of everything. I'm currently laying down on the floor. But uh, that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you ever want to get in contact with me or have any questions, of course, try the comments. Or you can hit us up on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave those linked down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, guys.